Dude, oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Dude, bro, did you hear? Did you hear, dude? Dude, bro, y you don't understand. What? Black Ops 3, dude. It's finally announced. Oh my god. Black Ops 3, that's right, guys. A lot of people are hyped, man. Uh, the hype train has begun. Black Ops 3 leaked news and information, blah, blah, blah. All this bullshit you've been hearing since February, March, and some of April now until it was finally confirmed this last week. And a lot of people are hyped. I myself, I'm not putting all my chips in one basket. I'm, I'm looking forward to the game. I wouldn't say I'm excited or hyped for it. I probably will become more excited around September, October time. But... I'm looking forward to the game. Treyarch has been my favorite COD developer ever since BL1. That's my first COD that I started playing consistently on console. Um, and honestly, things I loved about Black Ops 1, the gun balance I thought was phenomenal. You could use a lot of guns and do very well. Obviously, every game is going to have its best guns, BL1 being the FAMAS and the AK-74U, but you could still use the Glil, the Commando. AUG, AK-47, other good guns and still do well. So I think the thing Black Ops 1 did best was map design and gun balance and BO2 obviously had really good map design. Gun balancing wasn't there quite as much um, but the connection was a lot better than BO1 connection, that's for certain and that's really not a difficult thing to do to make a better connection than BO1 but I digress. Anyway, so BO3, this is going to be a quick short video on my wish list for BO3. I didn't want to make a wish list for the game until I knew it was going to be Black Ops 3. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. So, considering and keeping in mind that this is a wish list and this is not stuff that's going to happen, most likely, my number one thing on this list is dedicated servers for Black Ops 3. Haha, <laughs> I know, it's hilarious. It's never going to happen in a Call of Duty game. I will probably die of old age before Call of Duty ever gets dedicated servers just because the greedy old fucks and they don't want to spend money on that. Um, honestly, people have crunched numbers and stuff. It would only cost them 8% of the money they make um, from the games that year to make dedicated servers. They say it costs too much. It's bullshit. It's whatever. Dedicated servers, that's the first thing I want to see. Really good map design, obviously, which Treyarch always brings. They always have really good color correction as well. Like, if you guys remember Mario for 3 or Cold D Ghost from Infinity Ward, those games were really dull and gray. Felt like I was in insane asylum every time I played those games. So, I'm looking forward to the good map design, looking forward to good color correction. And I just hope Treyarch learns from their mistakes. Even if we don't have dedicated servers, Treyarch has always had the laggiest games, so if they can figure out the net coding and make their connection better with less lag, I would love that. That would be phenomenal. Honestly, those are just the basic guys. Um, I would like to see the ACR in a Treyarch game. That's never been in a Treyarch game, and I think that would be awesome. It's always been in Infinity War games, Mar for 2, Mar for 3. Um, I would love to see the ACR come into a Treyarch game. I think that would be awesome just because it's my favorite gun of all time in Call of Duty history. And uh, pretty, you know, short but sweet. Wish list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to slap that like button as Thunder would say. Subscribe for new. I'd appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys in my next video on Wednesday. Peace out, guys.